this is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only... They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. Hello, Mr. Brush. Hiya. Looks sort of like an eye. There's some very tiny writing on it. The numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. There's some very tiny writing on it. are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. The display case is locked. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the Pirate of a Thousand Faces. are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. There's some very tiny writing on it. The numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. That's a nice coffin. The one with the ore. Yeah, the coffin had a lot of water damage when I got it from the voodoo lady in town. But I managed to restore it. It was used by a certain well-known captain in a daring escape from a Turkish prison. Uh, the water damage is actually from the swamp on Scab Island. Hmm, unlikely. The prison in question is nowhere near Scab Island. You should think about hiring a research assistant. Oh, I did. Unpaid, of course. Intern. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. 
better to have one for each eye. If you say so. Once upon a time, I want a t-shirt right here on the front lawn. The display case is locked. Well, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. Well, the numbers are a little clearer, but still too tiny to read. If one monocle is good, two is better. Ah, crystal clear. I'll just write that down. there. Hi. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. This will be for a high-end display case. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps. to me. It's pretty well made, if I say so myself. Oh, I'd really like some crackers. Hands off. Those are my last crackers. What's that key? That's for a lockable quiver. And please, don't touch the glass. I 
I found some cracker mix. You could bake fresh crackers in your furnace. Thanks. The ones on the plate were getting a bit stale. Take some if you want. Don't mind if I do. I used to love these when I was six. Until... That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. There's some very tiny writing on it. What do you expect me to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. We'll need to generate public support. I'm working on that. People around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all in place. Well, it's a start. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Coffee? Clever. It'll be my ship soon enough. Classic and subtle. Like me. But I don't need to be wearing this right now. I think I should move farther away from the Quartermaster first. I think I should move farther away from the Quartermaster first. Threepwood, are you trying to fool me by wearing an eye patch? That is the worst disguise I've ever seen. No, no, of course not. Just having a little eye trouble. Left for a spasm. Oh, try some cashews. You might be short on magnesium. Or wits. Darn, I thought this thing was supposed to be magic. I must have forgotten something. Threepwood, are you trying to fool me by wearing an eye patch? That is the worst disguise I've ever seen. Darn, I thought this thing was supposed to be magic. I must have forgotten something. Better take off this eye patch first. What do you make of this eye patch? Famous eye patch disguise of John Laney. 
As I suspected, the magic has long since drained away. Good. Great. So, can you charge it up again? I can. If... If... If you bring me one more thing, a particular charm of great power, you must bring me the bite of a thousand needles. Then I will recharge your eye patch. The bite of a thousand needles. Can you be a tiny bit more specific? No. All right. Let's see what I can do. Keep up the good work, buddy. Wally. Bye. A classic specimen of Alata needleus, a carnivorous vascular dicot known for its tasteful coloration, slight wiggle, and loads of tiny, sharp teeth. I'm hopelessly lost without a man. Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. There. Oh, I'd like this knife. An excellent choice. I will need you to verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Whittling, scrimshaw, mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh huh. Use with breads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. Product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. At all times, keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Where possible, it should be locked securely in a vault. 
The manufacturer accepts no responsibility for the consequences of any use or misuse of this product. By verbally assenting to these terms, purchaser hereby assumes all liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue. A classic specimen of Alata Needleus. A carnivorous vesk, it's my very own, very sharp, non-magical ceremonial knife. Gotcha, you pointy little tricky fight. out of business? This place is an institution. Is this the year when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. But it's awkward, like when your glass is empty but you keep trying to drink out of it over and over. It is Corina. Oh, okay. Corina. Nice. Somehow it was more exciting before I knew that. That is true of many things. I'll get back to browsing the shop. Act fast. Supplies are limited. This is a plant with a bad attitude, and enough pokey parts to back it up. There you go. Bite of a thousand needles. Tell me, is this an ancient powerful charm, or simply a plant you found in the forest? You were pretty opaque about what you wanted, even for you. I took my best shot. Very well. You've always been the close enough sort. Thanks. Spirits of deception and death, drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? It's nothing to worry about. John Laney, this hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take pity on him and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Well, you don't have to put it like that. That's it? Unless you want the extended service warranty. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not a sucker. What do I owe you? Maybe try it on first, before we discuss payment. Well, how do I look? Yeah! What the heck? I look like a zombie! Is it broken? One does the best one can with the materials provided. I'll just wear it when I really need to. Ugh. You're welcome. It'll be my ship soon enough. I'll wait until I'm closer to LeChuck's ship. No need to scare the melee town folk. Hi, 
Hi there. You must be the quartermaster. Yep. You look like a guy without many options. I need a swabby. It's BYOM. So, show me a decent mop and the job's yours. Okay. And I better take off this voodoo eye patch first. I can't persuade you to back my expedition to Monkey Island? Yes. Stay away from my mop. Stay away from my mop. Well, it's definitely a mop. It's my very own, very sharp, non-magical ceremonial knife. Stay away from my mop! Well, it's definitely a mop. Stay away from my mop! Oh, you look like the health inspector tasted your stew. Or you did. Worse, Marlin Marlin is here. Who? The customer I have nightmares about. He's the only importer of yak fat on the island, so I need to keep him happy, but he makes that impossible. Today he wants me to make him a dish that he ate last week at some kind of event at the governor's mansion. But of course he doesn't remember what it's called, or know what's in it, or even remember what color it was. He says he thinks it has... ingredients in it. I don't have the slightest idea what to make. Ooh, where did he say he had the dish he wants you to make? At the governor's mansion. It's probably some exotic, weird-tasting thing from a swanky cookbook. If I brought you a recipe, could you make it? Of course. I'm a cook. See the hat? Oh, look behind you! A three-headed monkey! I do know a great stew recipe for monkey heads, but I can't think about that right now. I'll see what I can find out. Thanks. Elaine would never have stood for this when she was governor.
It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even apologized. I'll pay for it. I don't need your money. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even apologized. I totally forgot. Of course you did. You think like a cow. this thing it's a forgiveness frog when no apology will do give the forgiveness frog it's like a card only much better because it's a frog i never heard of that before are you sure it's real voodoo no comment it works trust me i'll take this forgiveness frog it can help someone forgive even very old transgressions This is for you. You're giving me a frog? It's a forgiveness frog, for when words aren't enough. You haven't even bothered to write anything personal on this frog. That's just rude. I reject your frog. Well, apparently a forgiveness frog doesn't work if the apology you write on it isn't good enough. Thank you. 
re-elect Governor Carla. She's tough on toughness. Re-elect Governor Carla. She's tough on toughness. about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I've never once made it all the way to the end. with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Malay, honoring Malay Island's 27th governor, Carla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Portobello. Dear Carla, Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I realize that you are tough on toughness. As shown by your actions at Santa Catalina, Please accept my humblest apology. I've implemented a reminder system for myself. This is for you. Dear Carla, this is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. One thing. You can do better. I reject your frog. It doesn't look finished. Honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Carla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Portobello. Dear Carla, sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I realize that you are tough on toughness. As shown by your actions at Portobello, please accept my humblest apology. I've implemented a reminder system for myself. This is for you. Dear Carla, I'm impressed, Guybrush. Surprisingly thoughtful. Considering it's you, I'm strangely moved to forgive you for losing my book. 
and I'll treasure this frog as a memento of the time you did something right. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Can I borrow this cookbook? You cook like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Oh, all right. I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. How's it going with that nightmare customer guy? My stomach feels like it's full of cannonballs and splintered rowboats. Good news, I have a cookbook. I found this at the governor's mansion. Aha, uh -huh. the mystery dish must be in there. I have no idea which one it'll be, so I'll just have to make them all. I'd better get to work. Thanks, Guybrush. Hmm. This will be excellent. He'll never complain again. <laughs> Ingredients indeed. Coming along. Nicely. Keep up the good work, buddy. What's cooking? The feast of knowledge. Wally, here's a sample of the wood you wanted. Can you make me a map now? Sure, here it is. Thanks, Wally. Warning, the dark...
Purple flowers? These must be lavender. I guess I lost my way. 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 I guess I lost my way.
purple flowers. distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Malay Island mop handle tree. Another resource has given its all in support of my personal goals. It's what nature is for. I'll take a shortcut back. Welcome back. Hiya. Time for chit chat. I'm trying to get this ship provisioned and out to sea. But show me a mop and you can come along. What do you think of this mop? I think it's a stick. Mops usually have a floppy part at the end. You know, for mopping. Good point. Expedition to Fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. I made him up. I think I'm ready to set sail. Expedition to Fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. I don't have time for chit chat. I'm trying to get this ship provisioned and out to sea. But show me a mop and you can come along. How's this for a mop? Let's see. Stick. Blobby spongy part. Eh, good enough. You're hired. 
Great. We'll be getting underway soon. Why don't you come on board and I'll introduce you to the crew. I'm excited to see my stateroom. When's a good time to discuss the benefits package? Threepwood's on the Chuck's ship. He's got some kind of disguise. From the bargain bin, it looks like. So what? You don't think this could be a problem? We didn't plan for him. I hate not knowing what's going on. I should have taken him out the minute he walked in here. Don't worry, we'll know what's going on. Yeah? How? I've got a spy on board the ship. <laughs> 